Hey there, friendlies, how's up? Okay, let's get one thing out of the way. The battery in my microphone was dead, so a voiceover time. This is the third episode in the Not Challenge that I'm doing with Mr. Nate Muskoka from Instagram. And this time it's the trucker's hitch. Now, before we actually get to the tying of the hitch, we got to deal with the fact that this end is not acceptable. So I'm going to have to fix that. Let's see. Look at that. Looks terrible. Fortunately, I got a bushcraft knife with me that I'm going to use to cut it. See that? That was me cutting it. And then the next thing you do with something as plastic as paracord to keep it from fraying again is you sort of melt the end with a match. There we go. That's more acceptable. And now for a very vloggery adjustment. I laugh at my own funniness. Funinity. Hilariousness. Before we go any further, I'd just like to say that if you're new around here and you'd like to see more cool videos about outdoorsy stuff like bushcraft and camping and hiking, then please subscribe and hit that little bell so you won't miss anything. All right, let's do it. There are several variants of the trucker's hitch, and the one that I've settled on calls for an alpine butterfly loop and two half hitches. For the alpine butterfly or lineman's loop, what you do is you take a big loop. This one is oversized for the demonstration. You figure eight your loop, then you pull the top part down and around, and then you pull it through the lower loop. After that, you pull it nice and tight, and there you go, alpine butterfly. Just excuse me while I adjust a bit more. There we go, nice and pretty. Now we need like a hook or a washer. Pass the tail end through the washer or hook. And then you're going to pass the end from behind through the loop of your alpine butterfly loop. And that sets you up for your two half hitches. So go around behind. Then <laughs> come through the front of the loop to the back. And it's important to always do your two hitches in the same direction. So see, I'm going around behind the same way and then through the big loop again the exact same way. There you go. Two half hitches. And that is your trucker's hitch. Incidentally, two half hitches is also a compound knot, which makes the trucker's hitch a compound knot made of compound knots. And if that isn't meta enough for you, I don't know what is. Where you'd see two half hitches a lot would be in like boat mooring, for instance. Where you see the trucker's hitch most often would be a uh, would be a tying a large load down to a flatbed truck or a canoe or a kayak onto the top of a pickup truck. You may also see it at a campsite where someone has tied down a long line for either a ridge line or a clothesline or something of that nature. Here's the part where I look all pensive and assign the next knot. It's important for you guys to know that when I or Nate assigns one of these knots, I don't know them either. I have to learn them and then try to do them without looking like a fool. So for the next video, let's do the taut line hitch. I think it's a very useful knot, especially for tensioning guy lines on a tent or a tarp. Use that a lot for this coming season, I think. I guess I said something funny. So as I always say, if you like what I'm doing, then please get the conversation started down below. I think what I asked for this week was, do you have any not suggestions for Nate and I to learn? Aside from that, share the video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. Aside from that, if you're not yet subscribed, then come on, subscribe. And hit that little bell so you won't miss anything. And give me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's okay. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.